You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm in a super excited mode right now because this maker is uh, pretty rare, and it's cool that now I can show you and we can learn it for the first time together. But imagine 1968 kids getting this toy. It's the Toot Sweet Maker, and it's from the movie. It says right here, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and it was the scene in the factory where they were doing the candy whistles. Now it says, make real candy whistles, tweet them and eat them with tiny Tootsie Roll candies in four flavors. Now we're going to have to experiment a little bit there because these 40 tiny Tootsie Roll candies, which were included, are of course not with this set anymore. So we have a bunch of other Tootsie Rolls to test with. Here's the side panel of the box. Here's the back of the box. And it gives you a little more information here. Kind of interesting artwork back from 1968. And it says, uh, let's see, what does it say? So each panel is a little different. It says, Mattel's Tasty Toy featuring Toot Sweet make real candy whistles with tiny Tootsie Roll candies. Down here, make a tweeter trimmer. The same way, press the tweeter trimmer on the tweeter whistle. Don't know any idea what that's all about. We're going to have to find out. But look, happy kids. Remember I've said happy kids a lot? Well, these are caricatures of happy kids. And I notice this price in the corner. I'm not sure if that's original to the box. And then the last panel says, Tweet Tweet, it's Toot Sweet, the tastiest tweeters in the world. Every Toot Sweet whistle really tweets and tastes neat. So what do you think about this one? Now this took us a long time to find, and we did eventually find it on eBay. And we've seen other ones there, but it's going to take a long time to get one like this that's all original in the box. So next, I want to open it up, show you all the pieces. Here we go. Now always with these older toys, have to be very careful with them. It's not often we get a 1968 maker set here. Now there's other maker sets that are a little bit older, and we have them, we just haven't shown them to you yet. They do take a little while longer to prep and get ready. So here is the actual press. Now I need, to, I need to wash everything, of course. That's the first step even with a new maker. Because this is exactly how we got it. And then these are the molds. So let me take this top plastic cover off. Carefully move it all off to the side. I have a couple stands next to me and beside me that I can place things on. So this is what a mold looks like. And looks like the fish. So I'm not sure yet if all of them, because you see her using the whistle here in the diagram, and then him eating a fish. So it looks like you can make whistles in shape. So something I'm going to have to learn. Here's the whistle die. And uh, I have no idea yet. So what I need to do now is uh, take everything. Ooh, this side's really cool. Look at that. Too sweet. A tasty toy by Mattel. Look at that. So I'm going to get it all apart, uh, give everything a nice washing in hot water. Of course, I'm not going to wash this decal here. I'll take this section out, take it apart, and then uh, I'll go over some instructions and then get some Tootsie Rolls in here and do a little bit of experimenting with you, okay? Check back in in a second. I'll just leave you with this cool image here. We'll check back. All right, I am all set. Everything is cleaned and ready to go. It took about a half hour to get this one all set and clean. I went through detail on all the little parts in here, and then I washed each of the molds, so I'm ready to go. And then I have a little extra swag bonus items, which I'll be showing in another video, but I wanted to show you now. It's the king size Tootsie Rolls, and then there's this uh, Tootsie Roll, what you would call like a lunch box filled with Tootsie Rolls. And then uh, we have a Tootsie Roll bank, so we're going to show those in other videos with thought. Hey, we're doing Tootsie Roll stuff. Why not show the other cool stuff we have? And then I'm ready with this and this, but I have a special delivery from my Toot Sweet train. Check it out. Ooh, sorry. Check it out. So I have my first two Tootsie Rolls ready to go. The train made a special delivery, and this is a Sweet Toot train, and there's little uh, removable pieces. So we might show that in another video. This was just kind of 
getting ready here. We're doing all kinds of toot sweet and tootsie rolls and showing you all the cool stuff we have that might be coming up later. But now let's focus on the main set. This is, uh, I was reading through the instructions a little bit and thought, you know what, if someone's missing these instructions, they'll have no idea what to do here. So I'm just going to maybe change the direction here of the camera so that people can read it. All right. So I will flip and then you can read it too. Pause and enlarge. Giving you enough time. Hit the pause button, enlarge and read. And this is where the faces come into your whistle, so I'll show you that. I was wondering what the other dies were for. You only need the two dies to make the whistle, it's the left and right. Here's how to reassemble. And then here's more uh, cleaning and reassembly. Here's the parts contents you're going to need. And that's it. So we'd like to introduce Toot Sweet, a new way to make candy whistles that really tweet and taste neat. Well, we're going to find out. So I'm a little nervous about this one here because it is older and uh, you know we have to figure out the best size so let me bring this in here now and uh, well let me take this piece off this comes out this is the center chamber here you kind of saw it they want you to put your finger in there and take it out and then the toot sweet uh, gets pushed through that and this is the plunger that's in here you kind of see it and the mechanism down here, maybe I can show you inside the toy. This inside here is a pin that slides up and down. I know it's hard to see. I'd have to completely dismantle it to show you the best view. But we'll just put it back together the way we have it. Okay, so that locks in. And then you take your first die. So we're going to take um, R. Okay, I'm going to put R in there. Oh, no, I'm not going to put R in there. I'm going to get my Tootsie Roll ready first. Okay, so, as you can tell, I'm a little nervous. So it said 70 degrees, so, of course, this is not going to fit in there. So I need to at least remold. It did say, if it doesn't fit, mold it in the paper. So I'm going to do that. Kind of come up with a template that I can use going forward. So I can make more than one here. And then also understand how to make the faces. So that... Looks like a pretty good size. Here, let me show you. And it's a little big, so I'm just going to roll it on the table here. It fits down. So what I'm going to do is, because the originals probably weren't as tall as that, I'm just going to mark it here. I think that's my spot. Come down here, cut it, in hopes that this is the right size. We're going to find out. Put it back in. Okay, so now I've put it back in there. Now I can put the die on. That sits like that. And then put this locking ring on. And look at the details on that locking ring. Pretty cool the way that was made. And neat design on the handle. So now they say these clear window dies make for fun and excitement to watch. Okay, so what's happening now is I push the handle down here. It's going to start extruding the Tootsie Roll into the mold. I'm going slow. It said go slow, be careful. You see it's filling up now. I'm not all the way down on the handle yet. You hear it creaking, so I just want to be really careful here. There you go. So now I want to unlock it. Now it is warm in the area I'm in. So there is the first piece of the whistle. So I can push this up now. There we go. So I get a little room here. And I'm going to take my tool again. Because look at it. It's very soft. Got to be careful with it. And now we have our first shape. So we need that chamber in there. So I'm going to leave that. What I'll probably do is refrigerate them a little bit because it is warm. But I need to make the second piece. So I'm going to move this die out of the way. Get the second die in here. And then roll up another one. I'll do it down here. So basically I just took my fingers like this and smooshed it out in the paper so my hands didn't get too sticky. And then I tested it, remember? And see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, I just roll it out a little bit, stretch it. 
So what I'm doing here, let me give you a little more room here to see what's going on. So what I'm doing here is I'm down here, I'm rolling this, and then I'm seeing if it fits. And it does. So again, I'm going to mark that spot because it was pretty good. And then cut it. And stick it back in. And put my second die on there. There you go. And let's check this out again now. So you can watch it. And I'm going slow. I don't want to force it. This older plastic can break, so you do have to be careful. That creaking sound always scares me. But I think we're good. Okay. It did say you can move the handle up and down to break the seal. So that's what I did. I think this time I'm going to trim off this excess while it's here. Because it's in its nice shape. I didn't do that to the first one. Okay, so while I have the second one, I'm going to carefully clean it up. You don't want to bend this too much. Okay, so I want to take the first, the second piece off. Now I have, uh, you know, lots of lights on, so it says join the two pieces now, and you'll have a whistle. So I think we're going to be close here. So let me just do a tentative try here. Did you hear it? So it worked. I'm excited. That's pretty cool. What I think I need to do is get this into the fridge. And I'm going to come back here now and make a few more for you now that I kind of understand it a little bit better. And then we'll mold some faces. So I'll check back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. That one is now in the freezer. I have one in the refrigerator, one in the freezer to see how well they hold up and uh, what works better. Um, so I'm set now. I've molded a bunch here so I'm ready to go. And I even decided to take the scrap pieces and make like tricolor ones. So I'm going to make... Uh, I have enough here for four more whistles, and, uh, and then we'll get going. So now I just got to remember to put the, you know, the Tootsie Roll in first. But when you're new at something, you kind of forget. And just to make sure I have my left-right dies correct. There you go. So we'll do this one here first. And then here, I'll show you this perspective here. If this is any better for you. Now this one's white so it's going to be harder to see but I'm just going to go slow. It's going to push out. And I'm just taking my time here because I don't want to rush this. There. Hit bottom. And loosen this. You can move this up and down. It kind of supposed to pop it off. That's a perfect one there. And then we cut around. And if you hear me breathing or, you know, gurgling like I just did, sorry about that. It's real close to the camera. Okay. So... Let's see if I can push this up. There we go. So I'll just leave that in the back because I want to make now the match to that one. Here I'll do, well, I'll do an all white one. Now I move the other die in. Same thing. Just go slow. Hit bottom, and just keep producing. So now, it's going to be like a little factory here for you. That 
works good. So I'll put this whistle together for you. We'll test it. There's a little extra there. I want to get that out of my whistle. Yes, I'm just eating the extra. Perfect. Set that one way out of the way. I'm gonna make a pink one. I'm gonna make two more, and then we'll get to the uh, we'll get to the shapes. How's that? And I'll show you how those work. I'm gonna keep my dies separate here. I don't want to be confused or make two rights, but I guess I could. See that? That one had a lot extra. I'll just scrape it off. Nice. Okay, so I'll put that in the back. And then I think we'll... I have one, two, three back, so I'm going to do a pink and orange one. Why not? So this die switches with this die, or mold, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now about this maker, we've had this maker for a while and we were just waiting for the right moment to bring it out and show everybody. The makers, a, a video like this, um, I can't even tell you, maybe five to six hours to make by the time it's all done and you get all of the, here I'll make one of the, uh, the components and the washing and the prepping and So that's why sometimes uh, we don't get makers out as fast, but this month we're doing a bunch. So here is the tricolor. It might just mesh into one. I wonder if I tricolored it the other way. We'll see. Oh, don't stick. I don't like it when it sticks in there. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. I'm just going to set it back down here. See how sticky everything is? And then there's the cleanup time, and then the, you know, restoring it back to the box. We store all, we put all our makers back in the original, the original way we found them in the packaging. Many times putting the original twist ties back in place, and so that the next time, if we need to bring it out, it's all set and ready. We know all the parts are there. So I'll finish this and then I will go to making the faces and the other shapes. So this die is done because I think we have enough whistles now to do what I want to do. Here's another multicolor one. Oh, I see the green. Oh, so cool. See that in there? Look at that. And a lot of people ask, why don't you shorten your video? Just edit it all out. And for me personally, once you edit something, you've lost that history. So why not show the history as you're making it? Because you can never put that back in a video. You could always uh, skip in a video, everybody. But you can't put content back in there. Let me put my last two whistles together. I've got my multicolor, which is now going to, of course, be my favorite. Let me test it. Not as good as the last one, but I think everything's getting softer. Oh, there you go. And then this one. I think I want to get these. Perfect. 
I'm going to stop again, get these in the uh, refrigerator, and then come back and do the rest for you. Okay, I'm back. Now, I took one that was in the freezer, so now it's going to hold its shape better, and it still works great. So I'm going to set that one there. I'm going to get my first character, put in my Tootsie Roll. I'll show you how these are used. Okay, so go slow. All right. Now these should be easier because I don't have to join them to anything. Nice. See them? I gotta turn it around for you to see the shape. I'll give you a better shot of all these later. Well, what was I saying? Yes, people want to make you, ask you to, you know, actually they say pretty mean things. You know how to edit, dummy. And I think to myself, um, yeah, I do. Make a lot of videos, do a lot of video work. Uh, Self-taught, everything I've learned. Never went to school for video work or video editing. But I taught myself how to do it. So if you're thinking you if you're thinking you can't do it, quit telling yourself that. So then what you do is you take it and you put it on the front of your whistle like this. Now the frozen one won't stick as good. See that? So I'm gonna leave him there. And it's probably because I froze that one. There you go. See him? So I'm going to make the rest of the shape so he's done, and as they're done I'm going to move them off to the side, and then I'm going to bring them all back in and show you all my whistles and everything I created. Oh yeah, so back to the thing, uh, time, so if you didn't look, look in the description, you can skip to specific points, so if you just want to see the ending, skip right there, you can. If you want to see certain parts of the process, we put those times in there, and that's also, that's a very time-consuming, hey, no pun intended, that's a very time-consuming process. LPS Jim handles that part of it. He's got to sit there and watch the video and mark all the important, ooh, cool face. All the important times. So... I like this one a lot. Look at that. That's a very funny face. So this will sit now. I'm going to put them here. I'll put them all back here. Ooh. Okay. So that one's done. So move that off to the side. So I'm going to do, do a green one. it so that it shows up in this direction for you so you can see it's like a little I don't know, lion or tiger or puppy or something we'll see the next one I'm going to give you a perfect top-down view so you can see what I see it's like a little mouse Now, if you hear me breathing, a lot of people say, I hear you breathing. That's because I'm right by the microphone. Normally, you wouldn't hear me. And the camera is pretty good at picking up sound, really good at it. You know, that's what they're designed for. Put him in the back. Okay, next one. This looks like a bear. So... How befitting for the bear, we'll do this one in brown. A regular old Tootsie Roll. So I promised you a camera change here, so I will do that for you. If it gets a little herky-jerky there, sorry about that. So now you're looking straight down on it.
Okay. But if you notice when I pull it back and push, it kind of breaks the seal. So that is the bear. I can't keep that same angle. I'm very close to the camera now. I don't want to hit the lens. He's going to need some cleaning up. Hmm? to work at certain angles too so we'll put him back there and we have two more to go Ooh, and I just dropped my tool see things are gonna happen here so do you want to see the last two well let's just do them we're here now this like I said is part of the history of this toy now imagine kids again 1968 this is their only toy their best toy their most favorite toy Okay, so this is the skull, and I've got tricolor in there. Let's see if we can get that one a little closer for you. I think it's a skull. Not sure why the skull made it into the series here, if that's what it is. Hope there was enough in there. Whoa. Very creepy, actually. Not sure why that's in the Toot Sweet set. Would have liked to have seen a Toot Sweet or the car, right? Let's move his head. Okay, so that's that. The last one is a fish. So we'll do a pink fish because it's a color we haven't done. And for those of you that have stuck through the whole thing, thank you. It's really appreciated. I guess you can try to get fancy, but it'd be hard to do if you wanted to add some texture to the fish in a different... Look at that. I hope it's coming out nice and crisp and clear for you like I see it through the viewfinder. Very cool detail on these. There you go, fishy. Okay, so that process is done. Well, actually, I need to make one more whistle. So don't be mad at me. I'm just going to do it here while I have it all out. And I've got it ready to go. It'll be quick. Now I am a candy whistle aficionado. I'm still going to push down slow. Because after this, I'm going to gather everything that I have, put it all together, and just show you all the cool whistles. Now that one had, a lot, I think, the most extra out of any one so far. This one got stuck in the mold. So it will come out. You just got to nudge it out. Just be careful with it. There. And then a pink. You know what I could do now? I can show you how easy it sticks. Because the one in the freezer, remember, didn't stick too well. So that's that. Wait, I think I've molded the wrong one. This is what I didn't want to happen. Let me make sure. This. Did I do the wrong one? I'm not sure if I have a left or a right now. So this is this way in the mold. Okay, so this is the one I need. I almost made a molding error. That would have been funny. I was being so careful. Go slow. 
went a little too fast on that one. A little creakier than the last. Okay. I don't want this one to pop out, so I'll leave the handle up. There you go. Okay. So I'll show you how much nicer it sticks on a fresh whistle. So now I can combine these two. Test it. Good. And then I will put the happy face. See? Not as good as all the other ones, but still worthy. So now, here's the point where I have to just clean everything up. I've got all these yummy scraps here, which I can use and or eat. And I'll probably eat some. And then the next time I'll check it, I have it all cleaned up and all my whistles ready to go. Well, there you go. This is the completed project. I got all the shapes and different color whistles. And I noticed after I went to go bring them to my refrigerator that I had originally maybe put a couple upside down. So I've since fixed them. Got them all in the right direction. Let me show you close up. Remember, we started with regular old Tootsie Rolls and ended up with these Toot Sweet Whistles. And then the characters, what do you think? Leave a comment. Let's hear the favorite character. I think I like the orange guy for some reason. And uh, let me just, uh, I guess I do have to eat one. No, I don't have to eat one. I guess, let me just test one. They've been sitting for a while now. That one comes apart. Here's one of the first ones we made. That works great. How's that? I would say that's a success. And that all came out of the Toot Sweet Maker by Mattel from 1968. And I know I had a lot of fun. I hope you had fun watching. For everybody that stuck through the whole video, it's really appreciated. And thanks for watching all of our videos. And if you check that description, you'll see a playlist of other makers. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.